What's up everyone? Eternals opening up November 5th worldwide and there is a lot of stuff out there right now. Reviews are already out there. There's featurettes, uh, there's trailers, the behind the scenes, there's content creators creating all this great stuff to try to give you the information you need to see Eternals and to understand it because these weren't very popular characters in the Marvel Universe and in the MCU we had really have no reference to gauge this off of because well I could say you Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 and Volume 2, there's reference to Celestials. And of course, Peter Quill's father, Ego, played by Kurt Russell, he was a Celestial, but that's it. And there's not even a mention of that in Eternals. So Eternals is going to be a brand new film for a lot of you out there. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to break things down to the simplest form to compare the Eternals powers to characters you have seen in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So it makes it very easy for you. So when you watch the movie, you have some sort of comparison to kind of go off of. So with that, let's kick off this video. First off, we've got Icarus. Icarus is the guy that's in the blue suit flying around in all the trailers, of course, played by Richard Madden, and he's shooting laser beams out of his eyes. He's very strong. Who does he remind me of? Iron Man. Now, of course, Iron Man needs a suit to do all these things. Icarus does not. But when you watch the film, a lot of his movements will remind you of Iron Man. Next is Kingo, played by Kumail Nanjiani, and he's very similar to Icarus, except he doesn't fly around, he doesn't shoot laser beams out of his eyes, but he does shoot these sort of laser beams and power forces out of his fingers and out of his hands. He can create these, these balls of energy and fire them off at deviants. Kind of looks like a like when you're playing Street Fighter, kind of that same thing. But to me, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, if I was to compare him to another character, I would say he's between two. Captain Marvel and Iron Man. Now, he doesn't need a suit like Iron Man, and he doesn't fly like Captain Marvel, but his powers, when you see in the film, are very similar to those two characters that we've seen in the MCU thus far. Next, we've got Makari, who is the speed demon of the group. Who will she remind you of in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Dot, dot, dot. Quicksilver in Avengers Age of Ultron. That's right, his powers are very similar to Makari's and we also saw another version of Quicksilver in WandaVision as well, played by another actor. But again, the powers are very similar speed and she is really badass. Next, we've got Thena played by Angelina Jolie, the warrior of the group. She's badass, she's a wicked fighter, and she can also recreate these weapons out of power and out, out of nowhere. So she can create swords and shields and whatever she needs to fight her opponent. So who does she remind me of? Well, if you watch Thor Ragnarok, Hela, Thor's half-sister, daughter of Odin, she reminds me of her, played by Kate Blanchett. So, and also Valkyrie, and you could say a little bit of Black Widow there as well. So between all those three, that is Thena. Next, we got Sprite. Now, Sprite's powers in the comics are a little bit different than we see in the movie. In the movie, they sort of simplified as she creates these illusions out there. And what she does sometimes in the movie is create multiple versions of herself to sort of, um, to uh, decept the bad guys if she needs to do that, or if she wants to create fireworks to display to sort of tell a story. She's really great at doing those things. So who does that remind you of in the MCU? Doctor Strange. Remember in Avengers Infinity War when Doctor Strange was fighting Thanos and he recreated multiple versions of himself to fight Thanos? Same concept, that's what Sprite does. Next, let's talk about Fastos, played by Ryan Tyree Henry. Now, he is sort of the engineer, the brains of the group. So who would he remind you of in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? You may say Tony Stark, and you could be right, but I also would say Bruce Banner as well. So a combination of Tony Stark, Bruce Banner is Fastos. Next, let's talk about Gilgamesh, who is the bronze of the group, the brawler of the group. Who will he remind you of in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Possibly Hulk. Now, of course, he doesn't turn green, he doesn't get big, and he doesn't roar, talk like that. But he's pretty badass, and he can throw a deep punch just like the Hulk can. So I would say Gilgamesh is very equivalent to the Hulk, but he's not as big. Next, we got a druid played by Barry Kilgain, and he has the ability to control people's minds. So who in the Marvel Cinematic Universe does that remind you of? If you thought about Wanda in WandaVision, the Scarlet Witch, you're correct. They have their very similar powers in that regard, but Wanda also has some other powers that resemble some other Eternals, which I'll talk about right now. Cersei, played by Gemma Chan. Cersei has this ability to manipulate matter, to turn it into other things. So as you saw in the trailer, she turns ground into water. She can turn a bus into rose petals. She has these abil this innate ability to do all these great things. So who does that also remind you of? actually Wanda from WandaVision. Remember how Wanda created this whole town and recreated this, all the clothing, the homes and everything. She created this all from her mind. Very similar to what Cersei does. So I would say Cersei and Druig have the powers of Wanda or AKA the Scarlet Witch. Next we have Ajax played by Selma Hayek and her power is the power of healing, right? She, so she can heal herself or others. 
But in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, we really haven't seen anyone with the power to heal others, but they can heal themselves. Case in point, Captain America, Super Soldier Serum. He's able to heal himself. If he gets beat up, he can heal relatively quickly. But he doesn't have the power to heal others, but he can heal himself. So I would say that would be the closest to Ajax. But of course, her power is to heal others out there. And that is basically the cast of the Eternals and their powers compared to Marvel Cinematic Universe characters we've already seen on screen thus far. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Does this video help you out? Do you have any more questions? Are there any MCU characters that I might have missed out that maybe relate to some of these Eternal characters? I would love to hear from you guys. So with that, take care, stay safe, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to this video, like it as well, and I'll chat to you soon. Take care.